Amp Citrate is my most used bulk stimulant and I've recommended it the most out of any bulk stimulant, but retrying it, is it really that good? Hey, what's up guys, it's Josh here. Today I wanna to do a little re-review on this amp from Bulk Stimulants. Now, this product is the Bulk Stimulant that I have tried the most. It's probably the one that I've had the most enjoyment with. It's the only Bulk Stimulant that I've gone through two full bags of. And I haven't tried it in about a year, year and a half. It's one of those supplements that I really, really like, but I would fly through it a little bit too much. So I don't know, I just didn't want my daily supplement cost to be too high. I haven't bought it in like a year but i'm so curious to retry this because it was my favorite bulk stimulants and i've recommended it to everybody since but i haven't tried it in like a year and a half ever since i've done the modafinil analogs and all the new stimulants that i've tried since then does amp still stack up real quick before i jump into my results i just want to talk a little bit about what amp is so amp is very similar to dmha and dmaa I'll try to put something on screen that shows you how similar they are. There's one little part that's missing from AMP versus DMAA, and it's also like flipped upside down. I don't know enough about chemistry, but it's very, very, very similar. Apparently there was something called AMP Citrate, which was very similar to this. It was used in a lot of pre-workouts. I'm not really sure exactly which ones, but it was very popular. Then it was banned. And apparently this is just AMP. It's not AMP Citrate. I don't really know the difference, but apparently this one is stronger. I'm not sure. The chemical name is 4-amino-2-methylpentane. Anyways, guys, I wanna jump into my dosage real quick. So only one time that I actually weigh out a dose on my milligram scale. I'm going to be re-reviewing this once I fly through a pack of this and kind of give you a more pinned down opinion about this supplement. One time I took it, it was either at 125 milligrams or 150 milligrams. I apologize for forgetting which one it was and that was the only time that I weighed it out on the scale. I would have done it other times but I brought it with me to work. I didn't bring my scale so this comes with a scooper. I usually did about one and a half to two scoops but I actually think I maybe need more because I don't know exactly how much milligrams I'm getting per scoop. My go-to dosage here was probably about two scoops. It's really hard to gauge the accuracy of each scoop unless you have a milligram scale. Almost guaranteed it's a little bit above or below what you think it is. As far as the effects, so I wasn't blown away by the effects of this supplement and I don't know if it has anything to do with the fact that I take Adderall one to two times a week. I give myself a long break in between so I never take it every day or even every other day so maybe my body is used to just a little bit higher level of stimulation I'm not too sure because I think before when I was trying this I wasn't taking that Adderall once or twice a week so you know, it's probably a little bit more sensitive to the euphoric effects here. This product is just really smooth, really nice. It's so easy to toss into any mix. I never really had too much anxiety. Now, when I did take the 125 to 150 milligrams, that was a little bit on the higher end for me. I did feel like if I went a lot higher, I maybe would have some anxiety. And I felt maybe little remnants like we're talking about one to two percent anxiety on that 125 milligrams to 150 milligrams dose that I took. It was nothing to write home about. It was nothing that really threw me off. There's lots of compounds that just really don't agree with me and I'll feel bad for hours even taking a little bit too much of a dose. So this just felt really good, very nice. It got me up doing things. Again, I didn't feel too euphoric, but I felt good. It was just a little extra something besides it's Kratom or caffeine or something else, something to just kind of wake me up and get me in the zone. And I really did appreciate it. And it was actually much more mild than I remember. So now I think I might actually revisit DMHA and DMAA because from my understanding, they were very similar, but this lasted only about four to five hours. Maybe that helps me feel comfortable to take it more often. I feel like I could almost take this every day for like maybe two weeks straight and I would be fine. That's just what I feel. I haven't actually done it, but it just is very smooth in the fact that it leaves only in four to five hours. However, there's times where I've had this to start off the day and I could kind of feel it not being there at four to five hours. And it's like, maybe I do want DMHA and DMAA because I don't have to redose it. Trying this again has really relaxed me to retrying DMHA and DMAA just because there's little to no side effects. If this were to last longer, 
I wouldn't really have a problem. The basic effects, you feel up, you feel good. Um, it gets me doing things, but it's not like something's taking over my mind or I'm taking over with euphoria or anything like that. It's just, for me, almost a perfect boost just to throw in all the time. Unless you're taking a super, super strong stimulant like Adderall, in which case it's so strong, just give it its own day. And then when you're rebalancing the next couple of days after that, toss in some of this so you feel a little bit more balanced or you're some who doesn't take the Adderall and you're probably just gonna like this you're probably gonna feel a lot more euphoric and it's really for somebody who wants a great effective feeling for four to five hours real quick on the taste the taste is actually really really bad you need a little bit more of this than something like DMHA and DMAA I put this in my drink almost every time I never put it in a capsule but I think from now on going forward I'm only gonna capsule this one because it absolutely ruined any drink that I put it in, if I put it in water and drank it, like I could feel it for 15, 20, 25 minutes on my tongue. I have to go drink something else or eat something else. So it doesn't really taste too good. Not the worst because it's so easy to get capsules. So anyways, guys, I really, really like this supplement. It's much more balanced and well-rounded than I remember. Vintage Muscle pre-workout is probably the best feeling thing that I've had that's not Adderall, DMHA, or DMAA recently. And I'm really blown away that that supplement only has areogenesis, tyrosine, and a few other things. But anyways, guys, Amp Citrate, I'm really, really liking it. It's much more balanced than I remember, and there's just really not much bad I could say about it. I don't get too, too much euphoria, but you would probably get more than I do. And I don't need euphoria all the time. In fact, if you chase euphoria too much, you're gonna end up not getting it. Anyways, guys, that's been my re-review of AMP. I will be re-reviewing DMHA and DMAA probably after this. Be very interested to see if they are actually more harsh or are they just a longer acting version of this. So anyways, guys, let me know what bulk stimulants you want me to review. Let me know what nootropics and other stimulants you want me to review. We're on the road to 50,000 subscribers and I couldn't do it without any of you guys' help. You guys are the best. Having a great day out here. Hopefully having a great day at home. See you all in the next video. Peace.